Good morning, this is Donna with Gifted Energies and it's approximately 5.40 a.m. on Wednesday, August 30th, 2017. I'm here to do a reading for Serena. And Serena, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this reading for you. Today I've chosen the Path of the Soul uh, deck. This is a completely intuitive deck that I'm using and I'm going to just go ahead and begin here today by shuffling the deck until I feel an energy shift or I feel that the cards are ready to be read. You want to know what life has in store for you. Um, you it sounds like you have a lot going on and you want to know about love and freedom and the things that are going to be coming up in the near future. I'm going to go ahead and start by shuffling the deck just until I, I feel the energy shift or I feel that the cards are ready to be read. And please excuse the roosters outside. It, it's that time of the morning, but it's also the time of the morning when my children are still asleep and I have quite time to, to record videos. So. Enjoy as they serenade us. We've moved to uh, some land out in the country up a mountain, off grid, which has been really nice, but it has changed the way I do business. And I really appreciate you coming back and putting your trust um, in me to do to another reading for you. I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck here. And the first card, the first card is going to show me what has led you here today. What has prompted you to ask these questions? I'm just going to give you a moment to view the card. And what I feel here is that you're going through a transformation that you're also coming out of a very dark period where maybe things were not necessarily going wrong for you, but they were also it's just a lot of energy that was happening. Things, things may not have been horrible, but they were. There was frustration, and you're coming out of that period. You're entering the light. You're entering better days, and you're open to that now. You're you're focused on the positive and the beauty in the world. Um, I also see it's interesting, but I also see children, um, children in the future, um, possibly between you asked about love. And what I'm picking up is is that you may meet someone who has children. I'm being told children from a marriage, children. Children brought into a marriage. Um, but there will be a lot of focus in the coming months on children. And a lot of your choices when it comes to love will be focused on these children and making things right for them. And it's interesting, I mean, being the words I'm getting are, you're, your heart is tied to these children. Um, there's a lot of love here and it will mean a lot for you when it comes to finding your soulmate and the right partner. Um, 
to have these children involved in this relationship. And I'm not necessarily sure if these are your children or your future partner's children, but th there's going to be a strong bond there. And I feel that the bond will be shared between you and, and this person you're going to be meeting. I also feel that when it comes to love, you're in the search mode. Maybe not necessarily consciously, but you're sending the energy out into the world. You're, you're searching for your soulmate. You're ready to make a commitment and settle down and stop. <sighs> what I'm getting, <laughs> and it sounds so harsh, wasting your time with lesser men. Um, And I'm also being told you're searching for someone who is energetically compatible to you. Um, so that you kind of vibrate on the same same um, level. That that your your thoughts are aligned, that your that your hearts are aligned. Uh, when it comes to freedom, I, I what I pick up is freedom of the soul, freedom of the mind. I, I just Letting loose, letting go of tension. Um, if there's been a lot going on, a lot stressing you out lately, you're moving into a better place. And I'm going to go ahead and move on. And the next card opens your eyes to your deepest desires. This is what's really, really going on. I'm going to flip this right side up. I do not read reverse meanings for these cards. And this card shows me what I'm picking up is that you're making a conscious effort to bring change into your life. There is a lot of focus here. A lot of focus on what you want, what you desire. Manifesting and creating your the life you want to live. Bringing things into your life. Um, I also feel that it's what you surround yourself with physically, not not just a mental change. So this this card can be showing me also that there is a move coming on or that you're going to be changing your physical surroundings in some way. May it be redecorating, remodeling, or moving to a no, new location. Um, just aligning everything so that your your heart's desires are met. Um, I, I feel that there is a desire for change and a desire to change within but also on the outside. The next card shows me where you stand in the near future. I'm just going to move this stone out of the way so I have some room here. This is what you can expect, and I'm going to say within the next three to four months. And what I actually get from this card is this interesting because I feel that there's going to be a strong focus on work, um, a strong focus on earthly matters, not necessarily matters of the heart. Um, it's interesting when I draw these cards because I pick up scents and things like that. Um, it, and I, I'm getting a vision of a maybe a store that front that sells metaphysics or focusing on because I'm picking up the sense of, of incense and the vision I get is some curtains curtains blocking the view of everything that um, is there, but it's keeping you in, 
keeping you hidden. Not necessarily that it's blocking you from seeing what's outside. It's blocking others from seeing you. Yet you're sharing. So, okay. This, this makes sense to me now. And, and you'll have to forgive me as I'm working through this. What, what this card is showing me and what the vision I'm, I'm receiving is that as you put yourself out there, as you help others, again, this this is a focus I feel that you're going to focus on business and, and getting finances, things like that straightened out so that you are stable. But when it comes to meeting and sharing with even your clients and other people, you're only sharing with them what you want to share. N it shows me that you're very grounded and that you know yourself very well, but you put a veil up and you don't let others get to know you for who you truly are. And what I'm being told is when it comes to finding that partner, that veil is going to be removed. And this is how you're going to know that this is your soulmate because you won't want to hide. You will want to be an open book. You will want to share. You will want to connect energetically as well as physically and mentally. Um, but when it comes to others, you're still very closed and secretive. And this has been kind of a pattern with you. And whatever pattern that you've had, especially when it comes to men and partners in relationships, that pattern needs to be broken. When it comes to meeting someone new, it's this is going to be someone you, you've... Someone different. And, and I'm getting a vision of a man with dark brownish hair, kind of a thick mustache, but it has, his hair has a reddish tint. And it, it's interesting because I, I keep seeing this, this person in a uniform, possibly in law enforcement or someone who works alongside of law enforcement. And I also feel that this person is very intuitive as well. Um, it's interesting because many times I, I see a person's eyes, but his eyes are... I, I can't explain. It's like I can't see them. They're, they're wiped out, so I don't know the color of his eyes. I, I, what's very strong that I'm picking up is that... A thick mustache and a kind smile and almost a mentor to you. Someone who's going to help you grow. And I feel that this person may be a bit older. I'm going to go ahead and move on at this time. And the next card is going to show what the strongest influences are going to be on you in the near future. I'm just going to flip this up. And the first thing that comes to me is the strongest influence is going to be your intuition, your third eye, your trusting your intuition, trusting yourself. Trusting yourself not to make the mistakes that you've made in the past and to embrace the future. And also trusting yourself that you're worthy and deserving of this life that you're trying to create for yourself. This is going to be key. And I'm also told embracing help. Letting others in. And this card here where I say that you have a veil here. Trust your intuition when it comes to letting others in. Um, if you feel like sharing and you feel that coming from your heart and the heart chakra and the place of compassion, 
don't hold it back, share. Whether it be with a client or someone you meet on the street. Whether it be with a partner or a family member, share. Share your thoughts, share your, your gut feelings, share... Being told, share your life and don't be so closed off. That's going to be make the change and that's going to be what is the strongest influence on you. Your, your intuition to understand when to share. The fifth card shows what you can hope for. This is the best that you can expect. And put this right side up for you. Now I pick up two things on this card. The one that came out very strong is reflections. And looking back, again, not making the same mistakes. And as you do so, as you make positive changes in your side, in your life and you break the cycles that you have experienced or that you the mistakes that you have tended to make in the past as you break those um, it's interesting because I, I'm picking up I'm being told life of luxury um, so good things will be coming to you you will see positive changes um, surrounding yourself with beautiful things but I also pick up on that this is not necessarily, as much as you need a physical change, um, I, I feel that and I have a few things coming to me. One, one thing is I keep picking up on the ocean. Whether it be to move near the ocean or visit the ocean, there's something near the ocean that will bring you great pleasure. So if you have a chance to go to a beach or to the ocean, to a waterside, somewhere where, it's interesting, the ocean will bring pearls of wisdom. That That is what I'm picking up there. Um, there's a reason for you to go and, and something that you will learn and something that you will be able to carry with you if you're able to make that trip. I'm also picking up that if you meet a man, he may be of a water sign and that could be a connection with the ocean as well. And it may bring, interesting because I, I really pick up on this session, it may be bring travel overseas or may be that this person is from overseas. I'm going to go ahead and move on. This is our last card. This is going to show the best possible outcome. And, and just to let you know that, that the connection with water is still coming through very strong. So you, I suggest that you use your own intuition with this. And the best possible outcome, and what I see here, is that everything is going to become aligned. Every, your life will be aligned. You will be aligned energetically. You will be aligned physically. You are about to enter the best time of your life. Embrace it. Um, expect things to start looking up. Expect positive changes to be made. Um, but also know that you are in control of your destiny. You have the power to make the necessary changes and only you can make those changes. <clears throat> I'm being told that you have a lot to give, a lot to offer others, not just necessarily in the realm of love. 
I keep hearing speak out, share. And you may become a, a guide or a mentor to someone else. And as you do this, this will help you to grow spiritually. Um, and I keep being told to trust your intuition. I keep coming back to this card here. Trust your intuition to share. Reach out. Don't, don't hold back. Um, th there's a lot of love to spread around and it's not just physical love it's not just the kind of love that you share with a partner but to the world compassion um, understanding and as you share your knowledge and your wisdom you will gain wisdom and knowledge and Lastly, I just want to say that you are headed for a better place. And the last words that I receive are don't be remote. Don't hold yourself back. Don't, don't hide from the world. Share. Be open and make those connections. And I really feel through these connections, this is how you're going to meet your partner. Get out. Socialize. Um, travel if possible surround yourself with beautiful things and the things from your travels and the things that make you happy and as you do this your energy expands and you will be able to make that connection with your partner it's time that you meet um, and I keep hearing a time frame three to four months is when you can start to see changes being made and that you may start making connections with other people that will lead you to that soul connection you're looking for. Thank you once again. Have a wonderful day and brightest blessings. Bye-bye.